What's up, YouTube? We got some trucks today. Got a lot of green light. Got an M2 right in front of us as well. We're going to take a look. Uh, for more Ford trucks, I mean, there's not a lot of General Motors coming out as of yet, but uh, there is the square bodies coming. We also have the uh, 70s trucks too that have been out by Greenlight, but now we're going to have some more square body action starting with the early 70s into the 80s from Greenlight. So that is going to be very, very interesting to see those trucks. But in the meantime, we got a lot of Fords. We got um, another change on the M2. Uh, they added their regular Ford cab and they put a, a bed, a wrecker bed on it. And then we got this pace truck based on the new casting from Greenlight. Take a look at these bad boys and we're going to get right on to Bigfoot, which is going to be everybody's favorite. So let's take a look at this wrecker real quick. It's got a lot of cool accessories. It's got the plow and uh, also got the running lights that they added to it. This plow comes right off the base, which is kind of fun. So, I was kind of playing with it earlier, I took it apart. But right now, we'll look at it in its stock form. Car it comes in the case that M2 does. They have the acrylic case. They didn't touch it up or anything, didn't change the wheels yet. It's supposed to be a dual wheel real truck, uh, rear wheel, but very small. And uh, there's no, <laughs> not really a simulated two piece wheel there. So, this definitely needs a wheel swap. Uh, but this is how it comes in its current form. This is all plastic. So the you can see the plow is plastic. Hood opens. This looks like it's got a big Ford motor in it. Let's see here. Yeah. So kind of looks good. Let's get a little wider shot. There we go. So this came, this the new release from M2, they got like this truck set where they'll have uh, basically manufacturers, they got two Ford Wreckers, a light duty like this one and a more heavy cab one, they got two Chevrolet ones and then they got one for the Chrysler which is like a the Dodge cab so I like this one out of the set, I think it looks the best. This has the most potential too to make a good wheel swap and I'll probably make it a, into a 4x4. Four four. I did see a 4x4 four four in one of these single cab trucks duly out there so I kind of want to replicate that. It does look a little bit better when you take off the the plow. The plow goes on all the M2 chassis like for instance no, before we get too ahead of ourselves <laughs> it would even fit onto this just because the holes are there and that matches up to the accessories so that bolts right up. I kind of played with that earlier, and I uh, thought that was kind of funny. That's just a completely different chassis. It's a four-wheel drive chassis. This one is a bobbed chassis, meaning it doesn't go past the rear wheels that much, and it's a little bit narrow right here. So this would fit Ford beds and stuff like what they've done, but it's supposed to be a shortened kind of back end get that weight over the rear axle better when you're towing a car. This is a metal rod that they bend and put a little hook on there so it's kind of funny. I think it might operate a little bit but you gotta push it up. But uh, it stays kind of st steady in there. So typical M2. You know, nothing crazy. Nothing crazy. Alright, so good, nice licensed product, pretty much. So there's our Ford Wrecker. It's going to have a lot of changes. Now, this is what is a real star. This is a real option package Ford did. This is based off a 1979 Ford. That's when the package came out. Mustang won the pace car slot, um, the official pace car slot in 1979. 79 wasn't a new body for Ford to get that Fox platform out. Um, once they dropped the 78 model so they had that new mo that new car and uh, they had the truck to go with it so they kind of whipped up this design scheme which a lot of people liked and they shipped it to the dealer painted but didn't have the, the graphics on it they would leave that up to the owner so if you purchase a truck they put the graphics on sometimes that will lead to slight variations in how the graphics are applied too and um, through Ford in 1979 you can get this package 
on everything from an F100 all the way to an F350. And uh, they also had a special edition tow truck 350 dually too, which I thought was kind of cool that uh, were delivered. So I was looking at that. There's a registry for these trucks and everything, but not too many. I think the, the most that were made in one of the trim lines was about 4,000 trucks, which is pretty decent. A little bit better than the, the uh, trucks that General Motors would do at the time. Their limited edition would probably be a lot less. And this was a nationwide program, so you could order these trucks. A lot of times they'd have the big block in them, 460. And it was interesting. Sometimes they'd sit around because no one really sometimes was looking for a truck like this, but they'd be at the dealer and uh, people were looking for a tow, you know, a tow, real strong tow vehicle. They wanted something heavy for uh, commercial use, whatever. These would be the, oftentimes the only truck that could tow in this platform that without going to super heavy chassis. And uh, a lot of them were. were ended up going to buyers that didn't even really were indifferent to the fact that they were buying a Indianapolis truck. Um, so I thought that was funny. And uh, there's this cool history of it. Greenlight looks like it tooled up a pretty new rim. I've never seen it before. This carries on the same type of tire, though, that really thin rubber tire that gets stretched, it seems like, around the, the rim. Um, that the bicentennial trucks had but the graphics are just spot on it's kind of a dull silver but you had to have this only one color that, that it came in and this really on this Ford was a continuation of the freewheeling package kind of what they were doing in, in 77 78 with those with those you know gradient of colors that they do on the side of the truck um, but there's another options you had to specify to build a truck like this it, it kind of came with some must-haves a lot of it was like uh, interior equipment based on a Ranger trim so already kind of optioned out a lot of these trucks have air conditioning of course power steering power brake usually have a bigger engine in them um, they came with the roll bar too uh, rear bumper that these special wheels that had the the two-tone and uh, Greenlight really did this licensing, executed it very well. Even had the the Indianapolis Motor Speedway flags on the, the front there. And they did their 79 grill very well. I got to touch it up, but this is how it comes out of the package. And uh, it's supposed to be, uh, inside of that grill is blacked out like that. It's got a um, blacked out front bumper with the flags. And it's got the correct uh, Goodyear wheels. This is an F100. There's more F150s made than F100s of this package, but uh, Greenlight calls it an F100. I got a couple of these trucks. Here's the packaging real quick, and we'll look at the chassis in a second. Let's see if that'll stay. So that's how the truck looks, and it looks just like the, the one that they did, even the wheels. So really cool packaging, period correct photo. This is from the press release and from also the advertising of the period. It had that picture where you could tell the person that, you know, you could order something like this and get something limited from Ford. But uh, and then it has, I think, some stuff on the back. Yeah. So, of course, it's a licensed product from the IMS. That's always cool. And there's the period correct photo. So good stuff. Love it. Um, I think this one's serialized too. So we look at the bottom. There's a chassis which you can see has a lot of options to it. You could put hitches on it. It has four wheel drive points for it for when they uh, probably do a four wheel drive version of this truck. So they got all sorts of cool holes right there. This one's $25.99. I think the one I have still in the package is $10.59, so it's an earlier um, production. But they'll make a few of these. They are hobby exclusive, so you're going to have to go online for this uh, to try to find it. Um, again, deep bed and uh, standardized casting, basically. It's the only thing they change is like the front. And that's how it came. It had the, the black Ford lettering with the orange that's how it came so really really awesome truck uh, highly recommend this one really good even the 
the windshield wipers are done with um, that molded relief. It just look, it's just a great truck. Love the casting. Very excited to have these. Um, so yeah. All right. Let's get to the um, let's get to Bigfoot. Let's look at Bigfoot here. This is how it comes out. I kind of took it out of the package and put it back in so I knew how it would come. But this is what you're getting. Look at this thing. This is going to be on everybody's list. Uh, again, buy in early so the prices don't go up. Greenlight's probably going to do a few of these. So you have a little bit of time, but not much. This is probably going to be sold out. I should have got two of them, but I didn't. It's fine. It's fine. I'll go with my collection. So, yeah, it comes with the small tires. That's how they usually transport these trucks. So they fit on the standard uh, logistical trailers and whatever. Can't have these big tires on these trucks mounted. No, this won't fit anywhere. So that's how they usually transport them. Now, this is kind of a condensed version of how they transport these trucks. Maybe back in the day they were doing it like this. Of course, this is a modern gooseneck trailer. And uh, we'll use our old F-350 shop truck. We'll bring that around and show you how it comes in. But I already installed the ramps. And uh, it is a die cast truck. And we got the, the extra wheels. And, of course, the Bigfoot. And we got the gooseneck there. Uh, hitch mounting point. So, But, yeah, the box and comes what it comes with. They got that exclusive. Really cool. Got the Bigfoot lettering. It's kind of a little nostalgic with the Bigfoot. Of course, this is this truck showing what the original monster truck is in its current state, basically. And then, of course, you got your licensing on the back, so it's got a good licensing on it. And it is an exclusive. So, let's take her out. Let's take a look at it. It's going to be just like the Bigfoots we know that have already been done this year. And so, what we'll do is let's move the truck out of and pull this out. Alright, so take a look here. We got the trailer, which is very nice. And then we got the wheels and tires. So I'll take the truck out. Put it there. And let's see here. Get these tires out real quick. Just gotta push under them slightly. Keep brushing the microphone here. Okay. And then, of course, you get the axles, so in case you ruin the axles or you don't want to reuse those that come on the truck, that's what you get. So, you can definitely create your own setup here. I'll probably make a custom dually, unless they, you know, make a Bigfoot edition dually at some point. But I'm probably, you know, when the dually set comes out, which is going to be with all the Fords, I don't think I don't think I want anything else pulling this truck as a Ford, but I'll probably use that. So let's take a look at the trailer, which I didn't I held off getting a gooseneck until now, and then I knew this was coming out. Greenlight kind of gives a lot of advance notice depending on what they're doing. This one was kind of let out in advance, so I knew it was coming, and uh, it's my first gooseneck. Very nice looking. It's all metal. Everything's metal except the arch part for the gooseneck these are plastic these are the ones that you just snap in basically those are the ramps so this is kinda like just like a a normal gooseneck trailer but it's done very good scale and it looks good hitched up to the Ford Super Duty these flip down so just leave them like that it's really when you're towing it, it's okay and that says it's adjustable which it is so if you look at it, it does go up and down like that, and that helps you set your height just for different size vehicles, etc. And then of course you got your little mounting point for your gooseneck right there. This fits in the truck good uh, on the dually. Um, it fits down there but not exactly and we need trimming so this depends on what truck I ultimately use I'll probably mount it for securely but until then I'll demonstrate it just loose there's your axles which are nice they're smooth Greenlight factory axles have ribs on them it's very difficult to take wheels off unless you uh, are, you know basically got to be really slow with it so you don't mar them too bad 
So these are the Firestone tires that they're using. This is the smaller of the tire. Uh, what, are they, what size are they? 66s. So calling them 66. I think that's what came in on the 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 other exclusive that had the tires on it. So you get all four. Good looking. And uh, so yeah, that's fun. Of course, if you want to leave it like that or use them for another truck, go ahead. Here is the Bigfoot in its transport form. It's going to have the smaller wheels and tires. This is based off a military two and a half ton or two three quarters, something like that. Rockwells, so it's going to be big old axle for deuce and a quarter trucks, heavy transport trucks for the military. It's where the original heavy axles come from and still do. I think now, now, I mean, in the in the modern age, they might even be like specially made. But back then, they used the military hardware, and these are really cool axles because you got the the power goes into it at the top and it comes down, and then the mass basically has a break on the top here that breaks it <laughs> because it's so heavy that it's more efficient using the brake force on the by the gears than it is by the wheels but anyway it does have a good detail and really when you look at this you have the axle hole up there too if you're looking basically above the tire so if you wanted to like do a funny like uh, low rider you could do that pretty easily too again the grill is a, one of the best 164 scales done um, this really cleanly done the way the headlights are in there is really good the tampoing even the casey and the winch and it's just a just a great truck i mean just for the price point and the scale it's very well done very very well done so let's see if we can get some more light back here hold on try to come up on it so highly recommend it you can see Bigfoot's done correctly everywhere. Let's take a look at the top. See, we got the fuel cell in there. I think they put the battery box back there, maybe too. It's supposed to have a flip nose. Of course, this is all closed body. Um, clean window. Not really any um, glue marking in there, any of that stuff, any of that hazing. And you can see how the chassis is just part of it right there. It's a large serial number. Hmm. Wonder if they combine these chassis with uh, the other ones. You can see the old Ford. That detail in the tailgate it has even has the the website I think on there. Yeah, Bigfoot. Let's see if we can get that to pick up. There it goes. So pretty awesome all right let's take the money shot guys what do you think and uh any gals either <laughs> so let's set her up on the trailer first let's get our tow rig ready to go so you know standard truck bed you can even use a nissan heavy but i wouldn't i'd probably use a dually for this application so here's the bed on this ford and basically we're just going to drop this in here now it fits kind of tight in between the two Basically, if I was going to use this particular truck, I'd just kind of shave the sides of this down a little bit, and then it'll fit in there just fine. And then if you really wanted to have it stick in there for a long time, just put a drop of glue on there, and you'll be ready to roll. So anyway, let's set this truck up. We're going to put the trailer together. I found it easier for me to just to put this on here like this, because it's kind of a... A snug fit it does move very well so just kind of have it like that for now seems like the height on this truck is set up pretty well nice and level we're gonna position it over the rear axle okay so that's looking pretty good what do we say we get the ramps down so let's put our load on first and I found out that basically you're gonna have to carry the tires a little extra wide up in the front here just because we need room for the truck so ramps are down and 
and she's gonna go right up there. Oh, best at the parking brake. <laughs> so yeah, goes up there great. Absolutely fantastic. And of course we'll go down, tie her up and everything, but basically there's your rig set up. Let's see if I can get this without spilling everything over. But we'll uh, put the ramps up real quick. Let them flip forward. There we go. Up to us the tire load. There we go. Let's see what that looks like. Perfect. Perfect. So there's our rig. She is ready for the long haul for the next show. Love the graphics on Bigfoot too on the trailer. That looks awesome. So the Bigfoot trailer, <clears throat> probably on a lot of people's list. Um, it's really cool. Definitely recommend it. This goes good with all my other Bigfoot stuff. I found, oh geez, I probably have all of them. Definitely looking forward to the 118 scale that's coming. I'm sure to do a, uh, hopefully I'll get it. There's a lot of pre-orders that are out there too. So hopefully I get in the first batch, but that's coming as well. So 118 scale Bigfoot. Hopefully they do a 124 scale. I want to hopefully I do that. But uh, there it is. Bigfoot gooseneck set from Greenlight in 164 scale. And we got our 79 pace truck. And I think this is a 68 or 69 Ford. It's a little tow truck. So yeah. Everyone, hope you enjoyed it. More from Greenlight coming. And more videos coming. Thanks for watching. Till next time.